Someone said you have diabetes. That's a lot to take in. Are there any role models that you have, people who have diabetes that you look up to? Nick Jonas, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, he's... Why, why him? Because he's going through so much, yet he still remains a diabetic. And, you know, I mean, he may be in the best care, but he's still challenged with it. And he took it the road I like to, and that's in a positive way. Because you're either going to beat this disease, or it's going to take you down. And you got to beat it and be positive about it. I have a little surprise for you. You're a positive person. Nick Jonas is a positive person as well. And when he heard about you and your story, he wanted to meet you. No. <laughs> In fact, don't, don't even sit back down, Mom. Mom, get up with me because he wants to meet you right now. So the three of us are leaving. In a few seconds, we're going to get in a limo, and we're going to go talk to Nick Jonas. I want you to think about what you want to talk to him about, oh and we're going right now. This is amazing. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Nick Jonas. You're not excited at all, yeah. I know he's a superstar right now and he's so popular. I mean, he's had has this disease that he's gonna have to take care of. Can you tell when your triggers are getting too low? Yeah, just an icky feeling. You know, like all of a sudden you're like, no, I don't feel so well. Oh, hey, some people don't right know what type of. Oh, yeah, were you low? Were you high? high? What were you? Yeah, what? 209. 209. That's not bad though for right now, tell, for my tell, excitement tell level. Tell us <laughs> yeah. the first thing you're gonna ask him. Oh my gosh, I don't know, something about his music. Does how. Have a girlfriend? Yeah, I just have a girlfriend. <laughs> You ready to go meet Nick? Yeah, I'm more than ready. I'm so excited. Are you sure? Because we can just keep driving. No, 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 no. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready. so excited. Let's do it. Yeah. Up next, our exclusive interview with Nick Jonas. The pop star talks openly to us about living with diabetes. Plus, for the first time, Nick reveals his secret for keeping his blood sugars in check. And could a future cure be within reach? You don't want to miss this. Nick, how are you doing, bud? Dr. Sir, Shore, how are you? good to see you. How are you we got Rachel here. You? We worked on some questions you I know. Nick, on the um, way over. What were your feelings when you got diagnosed? A little over a year ago, uh, some crazy stuff started happening. I started losing weight, drinking a lot of water all the time, and just had a really bad attitude. It wasn't me. I found out that I had diabetes, type 1. And, uh, you know, at the beginning, I was asking myself, why me? And uh, then I started asking, why not me? Pop superstar Nick Jonas shocked his fans when he announced he had diabetes, but he quickly became an inspiration for young people everywhere. And since today is all about giving back, we surprised one of his biggest fans, who's also a diabetic, with the chance to meet her role model. I think someone's getting a little nervous here. <laughs> I know. Calm down. Hello, how you doing? Hey. Nick, how are you doing, bud? <laughs> Dr. Shore. Good to see you. Hey, Rachel. Nice Rachel to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good. I'm We're really excited. We've been talking in the car right over here. have been a big inspiration. And we worked on some questions. You I know. Um, the way over. Don't look at me. I'm blanking out right now. Um, what were your feelings when you got diagnosed? Um, at first, you know, you always ask the question, what is diabetes? I had no clue. And my first question was, am I going to die? And then the doctor, you know, assured me that it was just something that you can manage and that it would be all right. And it's a bit overwhelming if I can use this as a platform to be able to share my story and be an inspiration and encouragement to people, then it's all worth it. Definitely. I wanted to thank you for doing that because you've also opened my support group. It means a lot. It means a lot to hear that. If there's a way for you to be able to share your story with somebody, I always try to think of that as an opportunity. Do you ever get down? Sometimes I have those days where I feel like giving up. Do you still have those? Absolutely. I think everybody has their own individual, you know, day-to-day -day management of diabetes. And there are days that are easier than others, and there are the days where it really is tough. You're about to go on another long, grueling tour where you're out there on stage for hours at a time. Touring and, and living with diabetes is different than um, a lot of stories that I hear from people. We all face the same obstacles. You know, we have this little talk back mic that we have on stage where no one else in the audience can hear it but my brothers. So we can talk to each other on stage and I can say, all right guys, I need a minute to extend this, like yeah. stall for a minute to uh, be able to, so I can you know, drink this orange juice or whatever. And you're working with Bear on 
a dog tags program, is that right? We are, yeah. I, I wear this dog tag, and then um, we worked with Bear to create this, uh, this special edition one, one that we designed, and um, it, it means a lot to me. It's got my song lyrics on it, um, and it's, it's really cool. I got one for you. Hold on. A couple things for you. First off, we have the dog tag here. So that's that's what we designed, and then this is a contour meter for you. Oh, You're my inspiration. Stories like this really do encourage me, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you very much. much.